Gregory. I'm Jonathan Weiss. And today the topic is pivot. And what is a pivot? It's actually just finding the direction before making a step. So, as we talked in our previous lesson, all the movement we start in our center with our contra-body position. So, if we want to take a step, remember, starting from the center, contra-body position, opposite arm to the opposite leg. So, we take a step, we arrive 100%. Now, if we want to continue the same direction, this will be our contra-body position. If we intensify this contra-body position to change the direction, it will be this movement, opposite arm to the opposite leg. And again, remember, we're passing the way 100%. And then, it's a pivot. So, we arrive 100% and pivot. We arrive 100% and pivot. Remember that it's important really to think in contra-body position because we arrive 100%, but now, instead of contra body, we will do an impulse, and that's what's going to happen. So, remember that pivot is not a pirouette. To make a pirouette, we use an extra impulse, and it's not necessary. For a simple adjustment of the direction, which is a pivot. And now, let's make some easy exercises in order to understand how to use our own body and the flow to make a pivot without to use our, our partner or without to use any extra impulse. So, we'll make this exercise, which at first will not look like real normal tango exercise. We'll use our arms, but the exercise will serve to put it in our consciousness, to analyze, to see what is happening in our body in order to make a pivot. Yeah, we will use our arm just to see what's happening in our body. Our arm is just an indication for this exercise, because in tango, when we dance, our arms are used for an embrace, for the pleasure of having another person in our arms. And now, let's go part by part. In this exercise, first, just the upper body. Palms facing our body, and they will be moving in one line, forward and backwards. Make sure your palms arrive more or less at the same level, in front of you and behind you. Remember, we move our arms, but we need to allow the movement of our body to follow the movement of our arms. It's not blocked, and also it's don't force the movement. In order to move just the body, not involving your hips, Make sure your knees are at the same level and relaxed. That will allow us to move only the upper body. Now, let's add the movement of our knees. For that, let's name this position as zero or neutral position and the point where our palms arrive to their maximum, we'll name it as maximum position. So the exercise will be as following, zero, maximum, or neutral, maximum, neutral, maximum. Repeat that a couple of times. Remember, always maintain your dynamic position. The ball of your foot. Check the video number one. And now let's add the movement. Let's put ourselves in one leg. Now we'll coincide the zero neutral position with our palms with the relaxation of the knee and the maximum point of the arms 
will coincide with the change of weight. So, neutral position, change of weight. Remember, we pass the weights 100%. Neutral, change of weight. The same way we practice our caminata in the video number two. And now, let's add the change of direction. We will no longer be walking in one line. We will be stepping one side, changing direction, making pivot, and stepping the other side. So, the two points will coincide. Zero point and the maximum point of the arms. Palms facing the body. So, zero, change of weight. Remember here, we keep our nose and our center. Look at the camera. In real life, that will be our partner. So, zero, change of weight. Zero, change of weight. Remember, the upper body starts the movement. We use our contra body position or dissociation or spiral. They are the same terms. They mean exactly the same. Opposite arm to the opposite leg. Zero, change the weight. Zero, change the weight. Now, let's modify this transition between the final points of our palms. Let's see. In the previous part of the exercise, we were having final point of the palms, zero, and this was another final point of the palms. Remember, our arm go one arm, and not in any other way. So, now we will keep these final points without lowering the arms. And it will look this way. We'll go zero and right. Now, upper body starts movement, so we start rotating the arms. We rotate the arms, and then we change the direction. Step. Arms rotating, pivot. Step, arms rotating, pivot. As you saw, any movement starts in the upper body. So we are talking about contra body position or disassociation or spiral, which is exactly the same thing, it's just different terms. Now we'll do the same exercise and we'll take the sensation which we practiced in our body, rotating our arms in this way, we'll relax our elbows down, and we'll practice the same sensation in the body. We'll name it slightly differently. We'll say elbow forward towards the camera or towards the partner. So change the weight and think the opposite elbow forward. So. Remember, it's elbow to the hips and not hip to the That will knock us off the balance. So one more time in this position. We take step, thinking opposite elbow, forward, and we continue with the pivot. Step, upper body, pivot. Step, elbow forward, Pivot, or in other words, step, opposite elbow to the, the opposite hip. Step, opposite elbow to the opposite hip. And now, let's make pivot backward. Same thing. We do step, and then opposite elbow to the opposite hip. We do step, opposite elbow to the opposite hip. Elbow forward. Step. Elbow to the hip. Step. Elbow to the hip. Now, let's take something in both hands, like a cup, mat it, to remember our tactile sensation. All the things we explained in the video number three. 
And we're doing exactly the same exercise, now putting it in conscious, exactly what we trained without these objects. So, we're having, we change the weight, now the opposite elbow, and then the pivot. We change the weight, opposite elbow forward, and then the pivot. So now, remember, is elbow to the hips, and not hips to the elbow. Another thing to remember, that the direction of the step actually is indicated by our knees, and our center faces, in this case, the camera, but in real life, it will be our partner. Because the moment we do this, we put the hips in the direction of the step, we will arch our back, which is very painful, and we don't want this. So, knees to the direction of the step, and our center to you. Step, and it's elbow to the hip. Step, it's elbow, opposite elbow to the hip. And now, let's have something in both hands, like as if we are offering it in real life to our partner, but in this video, like as if I'm offering this to you. Same way, our knees looking in the direction of the step, my center looks to the camera, and I will be constantly offering this to you. The sensation would be, we take the step, this should not be happening, it should be straight, and thinking the opposite elbow to the hip. Step should not be falling down, it should be straight there, opposite elbow to the hip. For you, for you, opposite elbow to the hip. So pivot is just an adjustment of the direction before any movement. Remember, to lead the pivot, we don't use any force and we don't move our partner, we use our own body. And it's our job to move accordingly. We don't use the lead to pivot ourselves. We use our own body. It's always action and reaction. And remember that reaction does take some time. So give your follower time to finish the pivot, a spiral which discharges into the floor. So let's do this exercise. Let's put the follower in one leg. The leader decides, we make action. And we react. Elbow to the opposite hip. Action. Reaction. Action. Reaction. Remember here is not action forward and back. Because this will take the follower off the axis. Remember it's always forward. So forward action. Forward reaction. Now let's do the same exercise but without any distance because it's not the arms that lead. Arms were only indication of the movement. So, action, reaction, action, reaction, action, reaction. And now, without arms, action, reaction, action, reaction. Now let's do the same, but in a close embrace. Action, reaction, action, reaction, action. Thank you very much. Gracias a todos. And see you soon in the next video.